In real life, pilots spend a lot of time learning about their aircraft systems and performance. And in military aviation, you need to understand your opponent's aircraft's capabilities as well. Such ignorance may have a detrimental effect on your life. This information is usually found in your aircraft's manual. So in IL-2 Great Battles, where do we find it? You'll need to log into a multiplayer server, select the airfield, select your aircraft, and go to Specifications. That will give you a great deal of detail and further references. And the same is true with the World War II aircraft. But there's no simple way of comparing different aircraft performance here. Of course, the internet has many different resources that you can take a look at, but what we're looking for is to be able to compare one aircraft's performance directly with another. For a World War I aircraft, we need to reference a previous game called Rise of Flight. Its manual is very comprehensive and has exactly what we're looking for. There's a simple explanation of what everything means, and then the actual comparison charts themselves. Although the IL-2 Great Battles Operator's Manual does contain a lot of information about its uh, games and uh, DLCs, it does fail to provide this critical information for operational pilots. You'll notice also on the Rise of Flight charts the left and right hand spin recoveries. The subject of which is part two of this video. In World War I, they had not yet mastered the theory and application of aerodynamic principles. So each new design was based on the failures and successes of the previous design. And the rotary engine was one of those designs which worked out really well in the beginning, but as it got bigger and more complicated, became a bigger and more complicated problem. There was nothing wrong in the design of the engine itself. It ran beautifully. But the problem was that the spinning engine created something called gyroscopic precession. And yes, kids, you can try this at home. In simple terms, when you apply a force to a heavy spinning object, like a 300-pound engine, the force acts 90 degrees to it. So applying a force left or right in yaw will actually pitch the nose up or down. And the heavier the engine and the faster the RPM, the more pronounced this precession becomes. The pilot here is using precession to help turn his aircraft to the right, but he finds it much more difficult to turn to the left against it. And so this was an extra consideration in a spin recovery. Let's take a look at the recommended spin recovery procedure for camel, left hand turn and right hand turn. Remember that we have four controls here to try to get this thing flying again. Pitch, roll, yaw and the engine power. Look at each control surface and listen to the engine and see what I'm doing. See what's working, see what's not working, see what effect it has.
If you've enjoyed this video and get some value out of it, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like and all those usual things. But if you want to see more of these videos, specifically with the IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, I've got about 150 training videos for you to look at. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.